I've said before that trap bases aren't the most effective source of loot, and I stand by it. Spending the resources to build and upkeep a base you won't even be living in, making sure you're available to loot bodies, and finding a way to entice victims can be a time-consuming process with no guarantee of a return on investment. That being said, there comes a point where gaining more loot isn't always the most exciting thing, and watching an automated contraption do all the work for you is honestly some of the most fun I've had in this game. So after I came up with the last one, my brain instantly started working away on new ideas, and I settled on a much simpler design than last time that I was far less certain in. Here we go again. In my last video, I talked about the potential triggers for traps being somewhat limited. In my free time, I also build maps, and watching that clip I realized that when I was building the gun store monument for my public server, I noticed something I had never realized before. The deployable target actually has an electrical output, a concept I've played around with quite a bit in the little known indie game I also enjoy. One of my favorite things to come across when I'm out roaming in Rust is the dude who's really concerned about being raided, so he puts together a little pumpkin patch and free water station for the public to use when they pass by, or the occasional overground pool someone turned into a public swimming hole after realizing it wouldn't fit in their compound. It felt a bit evil to turn these small communal pieces of the game into a trap, but it would be so simple to put together I couldn't resist, so I concocted this public shooting range design and logged into the most populated official server I could find because frankly I couldn't handle another session on the five times just yet, and I figured I could play out the wipe after this video was finished. Yeah, you can have my rock. Oh shit, man. Thank you. Oh, the burger. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Now the deployable target is one of those items I never really got much use out of. I don't think I ever crafted it until I saw this reskin in the workshop, which gave me a few cheeky ideas so I figured I'd pick it up. I like to stick these in the perfect spot on my shooting floor so it looks as though it's constantly being camped. Now I've never seen someone shoot at one of these brilliant decoys, but I like to imagine some roamer with an M2 sitting inside my base for hours wondering, how is this guy still there while I'm offline? But for this build, I actually thought that a manila skin would be perfect, and while testing, I realized that the shots generate enough power to trigger a door controller without an external power source, which would keep things even simpler and extra sneaky. The idea was straightforward. Somebody sees the target, they shoot the target, and they get shot, supplying me with their goodies. Now I wasn't entirely sure if a random target in the field would entice a player enough for them to shoot, but based on how trigger happy our player base is, I figured my chances were pretty good. disappointed to report that my theory on Rust player's psychology seemed to be dead wrong. 
and in the days we filmed this I admittedly didn't see a single person approach the trap and shoot the target on their own decision. But despite that, this somehow proved to be the most lethal trap I'd ever built, culminating in the single most satisfying kill I've ever gotten in this game. You don't like my target range? Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. It's nice, you know? If you can make, if you can get the target down on the first try from right here, I'll give you a, uh, a prize. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry it had to be like that, I'm sorry, you're gonna be close, but... Man, how long have you been standing behind this table, dude? <laughs> Pretty f cool, huh? Well, I commend you, fella. I commend you. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna get going now. Thanks. It was time for me to hit the head. And by the next time I was around to play a bit, a few days had passed. When we logged off, I hadn't thought to remove or deactivate the trap, so I was concerned anybody in this service population that may have fallen for it had already done so when I was offline, and that trying to film here again would just be a waste of time. So despite my own words, I decided to log back into the Rust Entity 5 time server, and it wound up being very, very worth it. find a couple more people to participate in this competition. Oh, fuck yeah, I don't want to participate. <laughs> that's, that's fine, that's fine. 
Yeah, one sec, stinky hole. How you living, dude? I don't have a team. I'm trying to find a team, bro. You want to win an L9? Shit. Yeah? Alright. I gotta find a couple other people. Let's go. Yo, he's trying to win an L9 here. With Stinky Hole. You guys looking for a team? Oh, I am. Alright, we have, we, have, we have one slot. But you guys have to compete for it. Oh, I'm here. I'm back, I'm back, baby. I call bullshit on one slot. I call bullshit. You wanna go for the competition? Let me run it. Let me run it. Follow me. Just follow me. Let me run it. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's go. I'll show you the. I'll show you how this works. It's right down the road here. Rock fight? No, I built a shooting range. You're all. You're all gonna take shots. Troll it. You can look at the build. You'll see the shooting range. It's a glorious piece. We gotta cover each other. Are you gonna kill? Dude, do you have flashlights? This one is. This is dark out here, gang. I, I got, I got a torch. I got. Where are we going? All right, all right, all right. Follow us. It's down the road this way. There's a roof camper over here. Off, and you gotta be careful. So you just have to go fight to be on your team. No, you don't have to fight. There's a shooting range, and there's a deployable target, and you guys are each gonna take a shot, right? And the first person to drop the target right. wins an L9 and the spot on our team. It's pretty simple. Have you have you seen the deployable right, target? Well, it doesn't drop on the like first shot. Yeah, I'll give you a gun. I'll give the naked uh, guy a gun. Give me, and you guys no, gotta give me shoot a, in give order. Me a you gotta go, go like walk. So drop well, you guys will, you guys will all go, and you'll shoot in like order from left to right. We'll figure it out when we get there. You just gotta check right, out this right. magnificent target. All right, bro, bro, bro. dude. I saw this base. Is that yours with the garages on it? No, but we gotta be careful with that guy. Someone down there. Hey, hey, you down there. Oh, I think it's an auto to it. I can see the laser. Hello, I'm deep. Can you help me? Hello? Yeah, we can help you. I'll come out that oh, door. You got your shot, son. Goddamn <laughs> I got you, buddy. Is it? All right. Looks like Ent is going to be in that base for a while. It's OK. He's already on the team. All right, here we are. It's right here, boys. Watch your bags, though. I don't think I had to pull up on this. I feel like you're leading me to my death, man. Oh, hey, it's a guy. What's up, guy? You want to be part of this competition? What is he doing? What are you doing, dude? This guy's botting out, bro. <laughs> he really him. is. All right, can you guys see the t I'll have to light it up for you. Wait, let me give him the naked again. I see you. Let me get... All right. So you guys gotta stand, you gotta, you gotta make it like, you gotta shoot in an order here. I don't care what order you shoot in, but you gotta like figure it out, you can't, you I can't, can't crouch and shoot. You can crouch, that's fine. Can you guys see it? I can't tell if I'm lighting it. Wait, hold on, let me uh, yeah, I gotta get close. Where are you on the from? Who's that f***ing has you guy dude? Yeah, right there, right on the line, that's why I built this hey, little hey, half I? wall. But, I don't know what that has you guys I doing. I can't f***ing crouch when I'm sh... Oh, I can't crouch when I'm f***ing shooting. I'm f***ing shooting. Oh, you guys are... This was simultaneously the most ashamed and the proudest I've ever been playing in this game. And in years and years of rust, it has me worried I'll never have as satisfying a kill, but God was imperfect. To make things even better, almost all the dudes I got wound up coming back, and they were all really good sports about it. With a couple even subbing to the channel so they could see it from my hey, end. you said... Base Cracker? Base Cracker Rust. Okay, alright, bet. I'm gonna look it up right now. <laughs> okay. Nah, okay. it's cool. Nah, I knew it was really about to happen, sport. but I still so fell for it. Nah, you guys are f***ing great. You guys are good sports. I appreciate both of y'all. But yeah, check Base Cracker Rust on YouTube. You're definitely going to be in the next one. It's going to be great. Alright, man. Peace out, boys. Can I have one of the AKs back? Yeah, you can have an AK, man. Someone give this man an AK. Here, watch out. I gotta open the doors. I think they're inside. 
I started up the channel as a way to showcase some custom monuments on my private server, and decided I would try something different while I was at it. And the result has been some incredibly fun gameplay and a ton of positive feedback from the community. For me, this is what Rust is all about, and every view means the world to me. So I wanted to take a second to say thank you all for 70 subscribers. And if you haven't done so yet and you enjoy my content, I'd love it if you tossed a sub my way. I've got plenty more where this came from. Remember that Rust is about having a good time, and the only wrong way to play the game is one that you don't enjoy. Until next time, peace out. Oh my god, that's the end of the video right there. Holy shit, it was all worth it for that moment.